Welcome everybody to the next used car review. And today it will be the Mercedes C-Class W203. By the way, you can also check out my older video about the used, newer C-Class, the W204. But anyway, let's check out the older one. This C-Class was made from 2000 to 2007. The build quality of the interior is very good, mainly in the facelifted version. And some say that it has even better materials than the newer C-Class. However, in the early production models, you can sometimes hear squeaking or rattling noises from the interior. You should check the car properly for rust, because there can be rust on the body panels, again, mainly on the early production models. And again, mainly the early production cars can have more problems with the various electronics. There can be often problem with the ignition switch, air conditioning system, fuel gauge, sunroof, parking brake or with the fake electronic malfunction messages. You should also clean the water drain under the windscreen because the accumulated water can cause some damage to the electronics. As I said, most of the issues are common mainly in the early production cars. So the facelifted models are more reliable and have also better build quality. So I would recommend buying this C-Class from 2003 or the even better facelifted models from 2004. The suspension parts can be more worn mainly in high mileage cars. So pay attention to various rattling and humming noises from the suspension. The petrol engines are usually reliable enough. However, the M271 1.8 liter 4 cylinder petrol engines can have often problems with the carbon buildup and with the worn timing chain. In some cases, the timing chain can be more worn even after 130,000 km. Then there are the M272 6 cylinder petrol engines. They can have a big issue with the worn timing chain mechanism, which is caused by balance shaft failure. Fixing this problem can be really expensive, however, if you still want to buy this Mercedes with these engines or you have one, then I would recommend to check the timing chain every 150,000 km. You can also choose from various diesel engines, which can have only regular diesel engine problems. All the engines have timing chain, which can be more worn after 300,000 km. However, in the M271 4-cylinder and in the M272 V6 petrol engines, it can be worn after 130,000 and 150,000 km. It's very important to change the oil in the engine after 15,000 km, but the best is to change it after 10,000 km. You can choose the manual 6-speed gearbox which can have, surprisingly, some problems in the early production cars. But after 2002, it should be reliable. Then there is the older 5-speed and the newer 7-speed automatic gearbox, which can have electronic or mechanic problems. So check it properly before buying. It should change gears very smoothly, without some kind of a strange noise. You should change the oil in the automatic gearbox every 60,000 km. The car should ride quietly and smoothly, so it shouldn't make rattling, squeaking or humming noises, mainly from the suspension. Also check the gaps between the body panels, they should be even on the left and on the right side too. I hope that this information are helpful enough. If you have some questions or if you have personal experience with this car, then write it into comments. Also don't forget to like or subscribe. Thanks for watching.